Okay, and also your broker was Network One Financial, which also has Chinese affiliation. Some of the principals of that company are all, are also principals of Network One Financial China, which is a consulting firm for companies seeking to do business in China. It's also about the fact that banks today have to deal with a lot more different kinds of payment types. Real-time payments, new cross-border settlement methods like Ripple and GPI. Instant payment fund intended. The new Regulation J Subpart C rules create procedures to make it possible for real-time end-to-end fund transfer completion. How does this work? But in the event of Ethereum setting a new all-time high or Bitcoin, uh, I will become a much bigger believer that maybe we could get our way all the way up there. In the end, that puts asset prices massively higher than here, hugely higher. We're looking at another gigantic crypto run. That's into 2025. We're working to get rid of Gary Gensler. Uh, I gave a hearing where I was able to communicate with him and say, look, I plan to fire you. Enjoy the ride, pal. If you got some bags, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news. No breakfast, no coffee. Just straight extra. Extra. Bullishness. Shout out to the latest sub, Paul Gonzalez in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, stuffing some bags. Go ahead. Throw on those moon suits. Throw on those pilot shades. Buckle up. Because the future's extra, extra bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 1.23 trillion, up about 2%. In the past 24 hours, we got BTC's dominance right around 48.4. We got XRP in that number six spot, right around 48 cents, up about 1.2. In the past 24, Stellar XLM, 10 cents, up about 24.6. In the past seven days, we got BTC here in that number one spot, right around 30, 31,000 ETH, right around 19. 19 hundo we got flare networks right around 0 0.0156 songbird 006 we got bpm 001 we got x list 001 specter right around five six cents els 0022 eq 0 0.0393 and we got casino coin here triple zero one three eight Five, one. We got Pure Sist, says the new Ripple X dev EVM sidechain is up and running. Haven't you tried it yet? Follow these simple steps to get XRP in the USD on the new network in less than three minutes and be first to master it. Pano says, I believe that the XRP Ledger EVM sidechain will change the game for the whole industry and it will send the XRP Ledger ecosystem where it belongs, a huge wave of adoption, new users, apps, innovation, activity is coming, the direct competition against Ethereum and the rest of the EVM change is here. XRP keeps on getting better. We got XRP Patriot, Matt 187, JP Morgan board member and billionaire James Crown has died from a car accident. Says my thoughts. Sounds like James Crown was taken out. Sounds like JPM Morgan is cleaning up some loose ends. JP Morgan is a transnational criminal organization. Businessman James Crown has died. He died in a single vehicle accident at the Aspen Motorsports Park in Colorado. Crown collided with an impact barrier. The official cause of death is pending an autopsy, but the coroner's office says multiple blunt force trauma was evident. Crown was part of the billionaire Crown family and owned Aspen Skiing Company. He was 70 years old. We got digital asset investor. These Chinese firms invested in Prometheum because they, they believe tokens were securities. One has to wonder if China knew the SEC plan all along. Gary's calendar below. And how did they become an investor in the first place? Uh, they believed in the concept that tokens were securities and that the idea that uh, the token financial services ecosystem, I believe, would sort of uh, migrate to one registered under the federal or one licensed under securities laws. And I believe that their Hong Kong subsidiary, I'm not sure the exact name, Hashkey something, uh, was licensed by the SFC as one of the firms allowed under the securities laws to trade digital assets. Okay. And also your broker was Network One Financial, which also has Chinese affiliation. Some of the principals of that company are, all, are also principals of Network One Financial China, which is a consulting firm for companies seeking to do business in China or Chinese companies seeking to enter the U.S. market. Network One Financial has also been the subject of 18 regulatory events, one civil event, and four arbitrations. And a few of those include the notorious Long Island Ice Tea Company, which pivoted to Long Blockchain and was subject to an SEC enforcement action. So how did Network One Financial become your broker? Network One was our placement agent in a capital raise. Uh, and how did that happen? 
basically there was a relation to form where they agreed to raise capital in order and, and basically take a commission. It's like any other placement agent. How did you find them? Uh, Network One has been on Wall Street for a long time, to my understanding. You got Mr. Man XRP, Volantech states that Ripple and CGI offers a win for payment service providers. Follow the bridge. Premium on reducing the cost of doing payment processing. And that's something that payments in the service at, as a service in the cloud happens to be particularly good at, is helping banks reduce the cost of their infrastructure so they can use those funds for, for other things. Uh, like, for example, uh, providing more value-added services. And that's really the other side of it. Um, it's not just about cost reduction. It's also about the fact that banks today have to deal with a lot more different kinds of payment types, real-time payments, new cross-border settlement methods like Ripple and GPI. Like Ripple and GPI. And on the front end, they've got to deal with open banking, APIs, uh, and really becoming value-added service providers. Let's take into account. Exactly. So <laughs> as a result, the agility that moving to a service model brings, uh, the speed that cloud brings, uh, is if, if it were just those things, that would be enough. Uh, but the fact that the cloud also is now more secure uh, than a typical bank data center and uh, performs better, really, when you put all those things together, uh, it's a huge win for payments as a service provider. Follow the bridge to the pot of gold. Know what you hold. We got Digital Pound Foundation, Project Rosalind, the Bank of England, and Bank for International Settlements Retail CBDC project was underpinned by the Overledger platform. Today, Quant announced the platform is now available to all via software as a service. Quant launches Overledger platform. We got ISO 2022, let's do it. How regulations within the Fed now legally require instant payments, immediate settlement with ISO 2022 payment messages. Instant payment fund intended. The new Regulation J subpart C rules create procedures to make it possible for real-time end-to-end fund transfer completion. How does this work? An end user, which could be an individual or a business, initiates a payment by sending a payment message to their financial institution through an end user interface, a phone or a tablet or a computer. And that is actually outside of the FedNow service. Now, the end user's financial institution, or maybe that financial institution's service provider, then submits the payment message using the ISO 20022 format standard into the FedNow service. Okay, now the FedNow service, they validate the payment message and they send the contents of the message to what we call the receiving participant, which is going to be the receiving bank or the receiving credit union. Now that receiving participant, they must confirm that they intend to accept the payment or they can actually do what we call accept without posting, but we're not going to get in that today. We're going to say that they accept it. Now upon this confirmation, the FedNow service debits and credits the designated master accounts of the sending and receiving financial institutions or what we call settlement at the bank level. The FedNow service then sends a payment message to the receiving financial institution, that receiving participant with what we call an advice of credit and an acknowledgement gets sent to the sending participant that settlement is complete. Everything's moved. The money's moved around. This FedNow instant payment, it's final. It's irrevocable. It's final and irrevocable at the earlier time of when the amount of the payment order is credited to the receiving bank's settlement account or when the reserve bank sends the receiving bank a confirming payment order or notice of credit. You got Expector exactly 24 hours to go in the DS birthday sale. Get any parcel of the Expector land and get a second one for free. Don't kick yourself later. Get your Expector Verse land now. Links will be down below. Buy one, get one free. 24 hours left. We got Flare Networks. The next Flare Drop is happening on July 15th. Series of 36 monthly Flare Drops totaling 24.2 billion Flare can be claimed by active community members who have wrapped their Flare tokens. Next drop, July 15th. We got Uphold. Our latest integration allows you to self-custody Corium, giving you more control over your digital assets. Corium official joins 160 plus assets on Uphold. You can choose to self-custody as part of our mission to give you seamless access to decentralized finance. Links down below for Uphold. Pick up some XRP while you still have some time. We got at Coins Kid XRP Weekly. I think the bottom was printed in January of this year. I think we see a 80 cent XRP price tag on the next impulsive wave up. Providing we see XRP hold the March low at 34.73 and not begin to break down below the green line support. XRP in theory should be at 80 cents within the next few months. XRP, the bottom is in. We got another one from Coins Kid Weekly. Can you see it? I did make a video on this a few months back. Those that pick the bottoms get smelly fingers. And we got another one from Coins Kid. One last dump for an almighty pump for XRP. We got Crypto's XRP daily head and shoulders update. Yesterday price closed below the neckline, which means a breakdown could happen at any moment. The daily close back above the neckline will potentially invalidate the head and shoulders. So look out for that. We'll update XRP setting up that next SEC face melting pump. 
We got Briz XRP, blockchain backer. Elliott wave, contracting triangle composed of ABCs. That's what the move would be. Two, Fibonacci extensions. And three, an equivalent sized move from the past, which is what we saw on both Bitcoin and Ethereum in 2021 sort of baked into the cake of the market makers, as you would say. So to each their own on which one they think it is. Like I said, I lean much more. I'm talking about catching up on these market caps, 4.236 extension, just like Bitcoin and Ethereum have already done. But in the circumstance of, let's say, Ethereum starts cranking out towards a new all-time high and that this is a completed extended flat, suddenly it opens the door wide open on this thing. Uh, that has an argument to it. As of right now, the math does not work for the market cap of XRP to catch up to Ethereum. Even if Ethereum gets right up near its all time high, the math just doesn't work for XRP to go cranking above, you know, 10 or $13. But if Ethereum does go into new all time high, it really does kind of open that door up. So in order for me to actually say, Hey, I am actually a believer that $25 is in play. I have my rules there, right? Like I need Ethereum to go to, I need Bitcoin to go to, you get me both of those. It really opens that door. And that's probably the thing that I'll be looking for first before you ever kind of get me off of here, off this $10 area and start getting me believing in the $25 area is that we probably need to see Ethereum and Bitcoin going first or everything's going at the exact same time, but Ethereum's just staying ahead of XRP and XRP's just chasing behind its tail and they're both flying up to the upside at the same time. And then finally XRP catches the, uh, the market cap of Ethereum much higher. Um, but that seems to kind of have been a golden rule throughout the cryptocurrency market for the last seven or so years. So till then, I have to keep my expectations right here. But in the event of Ethereum setting a new all time high or Bitcoin, uh, I will become a much bigger believer that maybe we could get our way all the way up there and that this was just the most epic contracting triangle, Elliott wave triangle that we've seen in crypto. Next move, $10, $25, the longer they take, the higher we climb. On that XRP rich list, bags packed. We got Riz XRP, cancel the noise, don't be shaken out of the markets, 2025 DCA. All the way up, dollar cost, average. What I think my hypothesis is, is that, okay, this is very observable. I think it's going to last, this relationship between assets and the central bank balance sheet because of the mechanism of debasement of currency. And I can forecast out what the business cycle looks like and I also know the amount of interest payments that need to be made because they, they happened three and a half years ago. And I can see how far the balance sheet's going to expand. So the balance sheet right now is what, six and a half trillion dollars. And it looks like it will get to seven trillion dollars or so. And it looks like it will get to 12 to 14 trillion dollars by the end of 2025. So that puts, and there's a number of other ways I've proven this out in this whole thing. And I'll send you the whole piece uh, myself. I've not really gone public with all, all of the whole thing of how it works. But in the end, that puts asset prices massively higher than here, hugely higher. Um, so we're looking at more than a doubling of the NASDAQ from here. Ooh. We're looking at another gigantic crypto run. That's into 2025. So we're seeing huge moves that just come from the debasement. Cancel the noise. Don't be shaken out of the markets. 2025 dollar cost average while you still have some time. With that being said, bag man and bag ladies, the scent wallet is available all around the world. Secure your future, secure the transformation of value as some exchanges are getting out of some countries or canceling plans to extend businesses. We're happy to remind you that the Descent wallet is available worldwide and is a complete decentralized wallet. Free shipping US, UK on the biometric wallets. The most easy and safe hardware wallet links down below up to $99 off the double pack. Know what you hold. In the blink of an eye, everything changes. Where will you be when that regulation jar of molasses finally breaks open? Next XRP's true price is finally set free. Bye bye glitches. I am the XRP Bagman, the Moon Commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra. Bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD. Buy up those bags. Don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button from the top floor. Catch you up here on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB.
Be your own bank. Peace out, crypto ghosts. They try to tell them about the price and look at you like you're crazy. Boom commander in that rocket, so there's no way in. You flipping switches out of here, you didn't have the patience. Slipped up on my mind and that cash and decline. Told you get a wheelbarrow and load up on them bags. But you ain't listen to the moon commander, now you so mad. There's a party on the moon to keep warm and burn cash. So please bring more of that trash. Moon commander bag, man, headed outer space. If you don't got no bags, then I don't got no space. It's a party on the moon, we gon' party all day. It's a party on the moon. Stuffing bags to the day that we go. SEC, watch your bags, it's all part of the show.